was just thinking about how there are a lot of franchises that people should probably just give up on. You know, as far as them never again being what they once were. They will never again be what people once enjoyed them for. Star Trek will never again be about strong characters, human interaction, psychology, philosophy, exploration, seeing the best of humanity. What we can be like with amazing technology when we're not in this mindset that we need to be at war. There's no more imperialistic kind of mindset around. And capitalism doesn't run everything. I'll always like the original series Next Generation and Voyager. DS9, I mean, it was all right. I mean, I did, didn't dislike it, but, you know, out of the ones from those periods, that's probably my least favorite. But, you know, after all of those, and it switched to, uh, what was it, uh, once it was Enterprise and beyond, I just wasn't able to get into them anymore. I just kind of stopped caring. Star Wars will never be like the original episodes four and five. And with seven and beyond, it's just a Disney crap fest now. Everything Disney touches turns to crap. Sorry. James Bond will never be a womanizer without pushback from the character he's trying to womanize. So many things about the franchise changed once Pierce Brosnan became James Bond. I mean, I don't mind the new Bond movies, but my favorite will probably always be the Roger Moore ones because he always brought so much comedy to the role. You know, perhaps I shouldn't have brought up James Bond because it is still a pretty decent franchise, even if it's quite different than it used to be. But to the people who think that James Bond should be the womanizing, misogynistic type of character that, you know, Sean Connery's version represented so well, yeah, just give up. DC and Marvel will never have the outdated values they did in the past. I mean, just think about what types of things used to be targeted to children in the mid-1960s. What am I saying? I'm not even Chinese. Now, granted, that's Disney, but still. And you'll never be able to count on comic book characters in Hollywood being represented the same way they were in the original comics. Not their race, not their gender, not their sexual orientation, not a number of things about them. You won't be able to count on any of it. Hollywood will shuffle anything around that they damn well feel like if they feel it will score them some virtue signaling points. And you'll probably pay money to see it. I was never into DC or Marvel or any comic books in general. I always thought they were kind of stupid, but yet everyone has things they like. So, I mean, I'm not trying to judge people for liking something. I just wasn't something I'm into. Personally, as I've said before, what I really don't like about DC and Marvel movies, even the new ones, is that it's all about production. It's all production. You never really feel anything for any of the characters, except in a similar way that you would a children's storybook or something. Marvel and DC movies are like the cinematic equivalent of an amusement park ride. I'd much rather prefer going on a real ride. Well, except for Joker. Joker was different. Joker, I really, really enjoyed. Joker, yeah, it was a radical departure from the other DC and Marvel movies, that's for sure. And then there's the Sin City movies, but I don't think those are DC or Marvel at all, and they're certainly not big-budget Hollywood. I think they even had a problem having that, you know, with the MPAA or something, because uh, they, they broke some rules. Uh, you know, oh, you have to have this many employees and this many, and you, you can't have multiple uh, producers or directors, and, you know, it all has to be, yeah, and, and Sin City went against those things, so. But once corporate America gets their hands on something, they'll milk it to death. They'll maximize every franchise until there's nothing left. So yeah, it's probably best to just give up on some franchises once they've went full corporate. Particularly if they're going in directions you don't really like. And really, if you're buying a bunch of currently made memorabilia for any of this stuff, you're just giving corporate America more money. I mean, you can collect it if you want, but I mean, it, it, it's, not, it's not a representation of what these things used to be. Anyway, I guess that's all I've got to say about that. Thanks for watching.